Hi! This is a short review of Formula 3G Voron 2.4 kit and uh, I've created this video to show others what's inside the kit and uh, maybe answer some questions I personally had while selecting such a kit on the internet. And I also want to mention that I'm no way affiliated with Formboard 3D and this kit uh, I bought it myself and I didn't get any money for this. So let's get started. The top layer of the kit contains all the extrusions, motors, relay and some of the pulleys. Pulleys are quite good in quality with all the screws in. Extruder kit is also okay with all the small parts and all the small bearings inside. And all the bearings you need is also included in the very top layer. Bigger motors seems to be unbranded, so all the excess motors are just generic stepper motors 17HS19. And the smaller pancake motor which are using for extruder is Okeda. The extrusions, apart of being greasy, are very, very well cut. It's very straight edge with zero chips um, but the drilling work could be a bit better. I've ordered a kit with Dragon High Flow Extruder but Farmbot somehow messed it up and sent me this one uh, smaller E3D extruder. Uh, I've contacted them and they promised to send me a replacement. Let's see how it goes. Underneath the first layer of packaging you will find a silicon heater with all the wires, a powder coated magnetic build plate which is a bit bigger than the aluminium plate which is your bed actually and heavy and thick aluminium bed with a little remark about the surface quality that it should be 0 to 9 15 millimeters precise and this is pretty much acceptable for a bed of this size. Next layer contains the electronics and linear systems. So there are eight linear rails which looks pretty much generic. These are not having to any extent but uh, from my perspective they should work. Cable chains are generic so if you need to select a connector to print out, select one with three holes on the end. Stepper drivers are 2209, which is okay. Instead of a roll of VHB tape, they sent a small part of VHB tape and a lot of unnamed and unbranded uh, glue tape here. Let's see how it works. And many other fixtures like this tape are also unbranded. GT belts looks very well, both closed loops and open ones. Uh, they come in two uh, meter and one ish meter length. And as I've ordered a 350 millimeter printer, this should be the largest size that Formboard is offering. Instead of two SKR boards, they have sent me a BTT Octopus, which comes in a wonderful packaging. All the schematics are available on BTT GitHub. They do not crimp your connectors, of course. Instead of this, they send you some wiring. A box of GST connectors. This all comes in with spares, so they have sent many more connectors that you actually need for the build. All the fans that came with the kit are Sun and Maglev, so these ones should be quiet and of good quality. They warned me that they can send randomly a Raspberry Pi 4 or a Raspberry Pi 3 Plus, but they actually sent a Raspberry Pi 4 and even included an SD card. Pins and frame corners are generic. The screen is BTT Mini uh, 1, 2, 864 version 1.0 and should fit as required. Inductive sensor looks okay and the same I can say about the thermal safety element. Thermistor and heater come from Triangle Labs so they should be also of pretty much good quality. 5 and 24 volts power supplies are of generic Chinese manufacturing and I would really like to have a plastic bar here which covers the contacts. 
all the small parts like PFTI tubes or electrical connectors or the relay clamp or the RG port or the small Bowden coupling were also present. The only thing I did not like much is that they included this type of micro switches uh, which are driven by spring. It would be much better if they included a micro switch which has a big button on the top which is used in mouse buttons. All the screws, nuts and bolts uh, are actually present and with a good amount of spares. I will not open this because it will take a lot just to show them, but believe me, these are all a spare bomb. The only drawback is that all the black screws and bolts are very greasy and might require some cleaning before applying a Loctite. On the bottom of the box you will find Coroplus sheets, top and bottom. And as far as I can see, these are CNC cut, and not laser cut, which gives a bit rougher surface, but that's something that won't be visible on the finished printer. Acrylic sheets, however, are cut with a bit better quality and should fit just nice. So, this is all what I have. I will build a printer and probably will record the video of building it and upload it to YouTube. Hope this video helped you to get some information about the Formboot kit and good luck building your Warren.